Hey, what's up? It's Matt King, and we're going to set up Stripe. We're going to integrate Stripe into your ClickFunnels account. There have been some updates, so if you saw one of my older videos, hopefully I made an update to that video to point you in the direction of this video. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our, our Stripe account. What I want you to do is make sure that you set up Stripe first. If you don't set up Stripe and then log in, it's going to prompt you to set up an all-new Stripe account inside of ClickFunnels, which is going to be somewhat of a problem, not a big problem, but just kind of an annoyance more than anything else. So just make sure you go into your Stripe account, log in or create an account, and then once it's set up, make sure that you uh, set up your bank account, your routing number, and all that good stuff so that you can make the account active. If you don't do all that fun stuff and go through that process, it'll just be stuck in test mode um, indefinitely, and you don't, you don't want that. So we're going to go in here. I'm not going to go through that process, but just make sure that you set up Stripe and do that. Make it active. Set it up with your bank account. All right. So all you have to do is come over here to your account settings. Come down here to... Uh, where to go? Payment gateways. Click on payment gateways, and that's going to take you over here where you have the ability to set up uh, a number of different merchant accounts or payment gateways like Infusionsoft, uh, some of the, the more common ones, Blue Snap, Recurly, Entreport, ClickBank. You can set a number of these up. So, ones that we're going to be paying attention to is Stripe because uh, it's pretty easy. We already have one account set up or connected, but we are going to connect a second Stripe account to this particular account. So if you have an Edison suite, you should be able to do this up to three accounts. And uh, what we're going to do is just click on connect with additional Stripe account. All right, we're going to call this one Deborah Green because that's Deborah's account. And we're going to create a, create a Stripe account. There it goes. And next, connect with Stripe. We're just going to click on that, connect with Stripe. ClickFunnels would like to connect, connect my Stripe account. Remember, we're already logged in. That's the, the key here is that you want to be uh, logged in and then connect to Stripe account. And it says down here, successfully integrated Stripe billing. Let's get started. So uh, just to make sure, <laughs> let's come over here to account. And then we'll come down to payment gateways. And we just want to make sure that both of them are set up. So down here, additional Stripe accounts, Deborah Green. The default account is set up up here on this uh this other account here. So when we go into different accounts now, we will need to set that up per funnel. So we're going to go into, I'll show you how to do that since we're here. If you have multiple Stripe accounts, remember all funnels, if you only have one Stripe account, all funnels will be defaulted to that only Stripe account. So, but because we now have two, you guys are getting a two for one in this video. What we're going to do is just go into that particular funnel and we're going to reset the default for this funnel. So this is Deborah's funnel. We're going to come over here to settings. This is the funnel settings. We're going to come down here and oh, what are we going to set up? Stripe, Blue Snap, default account. We're going to come and actually set it as Deborah Green. We're going to leave it out of test mode for now. And then we're going to come down here and just click save and update settings. And guys, that's it. That's all there was to it. And I hope that you guys have found this helpful. So good luck with all of your, your stuff. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe. Give us a like, a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think or if you have any questions. And uh, I will talk to you guys in another video. Take care.